School districts across the state are now on high alert following a surge of threats in multiple counties. Allie Root is here now to explain how law enforcement works closely with school leaders to ensure the safety of staff and students. Marvin and Andrea, I talked to school officials throughout the state who tell me it's alarming to see so many school threats pop up in such a short time span. But they say that's why active communication amongst law enforcement agencies and school systems is crucial. We live in an age where you can't take threats lightly, and that also means you can't make threats lightly. Schools across Kentucky are heightening security after a wave of threats in at least seven counties this week, including Anderson, Boyle, and Marion. Some even prompted evacuations and cancellations. With the shooting that occurred in Georgia, as tragic as it was, and then us having a, a, the shooting in Laurel County so close to home, I think you have some bad actors that like to, to piggyback and try to see as much panic and chaos they can cause. School leaders say every threat is taken seriously and investigated thoroughly. Even if a student says we were joking, it was not really a threat. We're going to treat every threat seriously and we're going to turn every threat over to local law enforcement to deal with. When we come across something like this, if a threat's been made and we can track it back to who made that threat or someone trying to cause, cause panic with those threats, then, then we do follow up with charges. Kim Adkins, who leads school safety efforts in Harding County, says it's imperative to teach children from a young age about the weight behind their words. We talk to them about what terroristic threats are and how that will be handled by local law enforcement. We send information out to the parents on how to talk to their students about that. Atkins also encourages parents to monitor their children's electronic devices because she says threatening messages are often posted to social media. She also says school resource officers remain on high alert in schools and within the community. So anytime they hear something or see something out in the community that could potentially blend over into the school district, they try to get in front of that to investigate any threat. We are there to... to do our best to make schools safer and to do everything we can to make sure students are protected. Officer Wade says Jessamine County Schools will be sending a letter home to parents following the threats made in other districts this week to highlight the importance of cooperation and communication with law enforcement if incidents like this do pop up. Back to you all.